Dr. Maston, I have a question regarding the tutorial assignment that's due on Monday. Actually, it's, everything's due on Wednesday now because they moved everything to Wednesdays. What are the guidelines? Are like, it just looks like it says to draw a coagulation flocculation basin. So, mm -hmm. is is that really it? Do we look at the paddles? lecture kind of that you talked about in that respect? That's all I'm asking. So I've given you some um, I've given you the criteria for instance the number number of paddles uh, or the, the number of blades the number of paddle wheels per shaft etc. So that that is dependent or student specific I've given you a flow rate so you can calculate a volume so you can add dimensions to your diagram. So basically I'm asking you to, I'm trying to get, make sure that students can conceptualize what we've been talking about. So that's all I want is a drawing. A drawing and then with some dimensions on it showing these flocculators. So you should have dimensions, for instance, like the wall clearance, et cetera. So in the softening, <clears throat> and it's in softening because it was due at the same time as the softening assignment. So that's why I put it there. So what I've, told, what I've given you is um, the specification. So in this case, you're told that you're designing a water treatment plan to treat a surface water design flow rate is in this case 35,000 meters cubed per day. The water is to be pumped from a lake through an intake tower having two cells and the water flows first through a coarse screen and then a fine screen. The water then flows into a rapid mix basin, I need space there, with a three blade axial flow impellers. So you've got to think about what this means. Um, so I've told you about the rapid mix, ferric chloride, I told you the dose, I give you the cross-sectional, um, <clears throat> so you've got a cross-flow horizontal shaft paddle wheel basin, and it has a detention time, give you the G value. Tapered flocculation is provided, and you've got three compartments of equal depth and series. I give you the G values, and those will vary with the student. Um, and that gives, in this case, an average G value of 50 inverse seconds. The, depart the compartments are separated by an orifice type baffle wall, and the floor of the basin is level. And each shaft is to have, and I tell you the number of paddle wheels, tell you the number of arms on each paddle wheel, and the number of blades on each arm. So basically, it's very similar to what we did in class. What I'm asking you to do is, I'm not asking you to go through all the calculations. I'm asking you to, one, draw a schematic of the treatment plan showing chemical addition. So I'm asking you to take the words that are given here and do a drawing. Your drawing doesn't have to be artistic or whatever. It needs to convey the information. So you're conveying to me that you understand what's presented here. Um, I didn't even, um, you don't have to worry about drawing the rapid mix basin. So I ask you to plan to provide plan and profile drawings of the flocculation basin sets, so just like we did in class, and then draw a one shaft showing the number of paddle wheels, the number of blades, and the placement of the blades. So again, I'm trying to get make sure that you understand the words and can um, <clears throat> picture it. Um, show the the clearance required clearance distances along with basin dimensions, 
Um, you don't need to do any additional calculations beyond the flocculation basin. You don't need to confirm that you would meet those G values or anything. I just want you to conceptualize it. Okay. Um, and then you'll upload the document into the associated Dropbox in the tutorial folder. It's in the tutorial folder because of the way that I set up grading at the very beginning. Um, you don't need to provide any information in the essay text box. It's just there as a placeholder. So this is written, okay. Um, this is just there to provide the information. So don't worry, you don't have to submit anything here. You'll submit your drawing in the tutorial. Does that make sense? Yeah. Also, this doesn't require AutoCAD, right? <laughs> no, you okay, can no. if you want. I'm perfectly fine for you to sit down with a paper and pencil and draw it that way. You can do it that way. You can do it on PowerPoint. Um, my, main, my goal here is not that you spend hours and hours with really detailed drawings. It's that you think about what this means and you can convey to me that you understand what these words mean. That was very helpful. Thank you. I did not know that the softening was, it, or the tutorial assignment was in the softening. I only saw the Dropbox, so I was pretty confused. lost the direction. So I think. Yeah, I put the only reason I put it in the softening was because it was trying to make it straightforward that you, when everybody did the softening, they remembered that it was there. I was trying to make sure that there was less, I didn't want to that there was one more thing that you had to remember. So that's why I put it in the softening homework assignment folder. I don't know whether it was used. I don't know whether that was a good idea or not, but that's, that was my thought process when I did it. Because I know that there's a lot to remember. Any other questions? Okay, if there's no further questions, then I will, will, will end here. I will, as I mentioned, <clears throat> I'll download the recording Give me a little bit of time to go through and edit it and splice it into pieces um, and then I'll upload it. Okay, and I've got class this afternoon too, so, um, but I'll do it as soon as possible. Any other questions?